Hi students, welcome to today's session. In the previous class, we have mentioned three different types of life cycles seen in algae that were haplontic life cycle, diplontic life cycle and diplohaplontic life cycle in the very previous class. Today, we'll see the next type of life cycle that is the haplobiontic life cycle. In haplobiontic life cycle, the diploid phase is followed by two dissimilar haploid generations. The diploid phase is followed by two dissimilar haploid generations. In this case, the dominant phase is represented by the haploid and multicellular gametophyte. So here, as the name suggests, haplobiontic life cycle, the name is haplobiontic life cycle. So the dominant phase is haploid phase and so obviously it is the gametophyte. So gametophyte is the dominant haploid multicellular phase. It produces haploid gametes obviously through mitosis because it is already haploid. So it produces gametes through uh, mitosis, gametogenic mitosis. These gametes, it will fuse in uh, pairs and form the zygotes. So now the zygote, it is deployed in condition. You can see in this flow chart. So the gametes fuse and form the zygote and this zygote is now the diploid phase and the zygote is the only diploid phase in the life cycle. And now uh, the nucleus of the zygote undergoes meiosis and the zygote containing haploid nuclei will produce the spores. So the zygote undergoes meiosis and produces the haploid nuclei and it will repeatedly then undergo the, the mitotic division and form a small branched and filamentous structure that is called the carposporophyte. This carposporophyte is still attached to the gametophyte. It is not a separate uh, independent phase but it is attached to the gametophyte itself. So carposporophyte is formed which is uh, attached or dependent on the gametophyte and it is a small branched and filamentous somatic individual. At the tips of its filaments, at the tips of the filaments of carposporophyte, it, it develops the carposporangia. And in this carposporangia, haploid and unicellular spores are formed and these spores are called carpospores. And these spores germinate and undergo repeated mitotic division and then again gives rise to the haploid gametophytic plant. So this is all about the haplobiontic life cycle. In haplobiontic, I repeat, in haplobiontic life cycle, the dominant phase as the name suggests is the haploid uh, phase and this haploid phase, dominant phase is the gametophyte. This haploid gametophyte undergoes mitosis and forms gametes and gametes fuses in pairs and forms the diploid zygote. The only diploid phase of this life cycle, this type of life cycle is represented by the zygote. So zygote is the only diploid condition in the life cycle. It undergoes, the zygote undergoes meiosis and uh, the zygote with meiotic nucleus or the haploid nucleus, it undergoes repeated mitosis and forms a multicellular, uh, small multicellular branched filamentous structure that is the carposporophyte and carposporophyte is not a separate independent body but it is still attached to the gametophyte and this carposporophyte filaments at the tips they develop the tip cells develop the carposporangia and inside this carposporangia several spores are formed that are 
mitotic spores or that means that are haploid spores and these haploid spores as it is developed in the carposporangia they are named as carpospores these carpospores come lib are liberated and it comes out and germinates to form again the independent multicellular dominant gametophyte so this is all about the haplobiontic life cycle